Hey, I'm Sal. And I'm Luke. Alright, today we're going to look at a special preview of the Windows Mobile 6.5. It was recently launched at uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. That's right. And also, we have a special treat for you. That's right. After this, we're going to have a look at the all-new HTC Touch Diamond. If you want to find out more about this device, stay tuned. We've got more for you. Now, on to Windows Mobile 6.5. The first thing you'll come to realize about the new interface is that it's very finger-friendly. It's easy to slide your finger through the various categories as you can see. They're now grouped by bars which can be moved left or right with the flick of your finger. You can even check your upcoming appointments within the bar without having had to go to the actual calendar app itself. Now with all new Windows Mobile 6.5 devices henceforth, it's mandate for Microsoft to have a Windows logo button on the device itself, if the manufacturers wish to support Windows Mobile 6.5. Now they do this because they can have their branding on all their Windows Mobile supported devices. Now clicking on this launch button, it brings you to yet another interface. Now this was the old interface called Honeycomb. At the recent conference, the lines were removed and the icons were magnified, thus allowing the user to interact with them better. In our opinion, they were right to take it out. You also have a new lock screen, which allows you to see at a glance all the notifications you have, like missed calls, appointments, and messages. Now, Microsoft has done a really good job here with the interface. It looks really nice. Uh, it's a tad slow, but this is, after all, a prototype set. So we'll let it slide for now. Besides the appearance factor, there's also a new addition, and that is the new and improved Internet Explorer Mobile 6, which includes flashlight. And that means you can also view flash websites, finally. All right, so, okay, we got Windows Mobile 6.5 out of the way. All right, yeah, that's right, now let's talk about another, let's talk about a device this time, all right? Let's talk about the HTC Touch Diamond 2. And the old HTC Touch Diamond. If we must. That's right. Okay. Alright, so what's different about these two phones basically? Okay, you know, on appearance wise, I guess the most obvious would be the screen. Yep, that's right. Right. And of course, there seems to be a bit more metal in that one. Yeah. And on the back cover, mm -hmm. you can see that uh, the, the blatant prism pattern has been replaced with a more minimalist design. Yeah, I didn't like the prism at all. I mean, they also came out with the battery cover that had no prism, so yep. it's just a flat one, yep, so that's, right. that's much better. Of course, that's a matter of taste. For mm -hmm. some of you, your opinions will vary. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about display, right? Because everyone knows that screen size is better. I mean, look at the iPhone, it's got about, you know, a bigger screen yep. compared to the rest, but all Touch Diamond had a 2.8 inch, yep. whereas for the Touch Diamond 2, you get a 3.2 inch display, and it's been upgraded with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so mm -hmm. you can watch all your favorite widescreen movies. Yep. Great, and that one, the old one was about 2.8 inches. Yeah, with a normal aspect, yeah. So, yeah. And this has a lower resolution than that. Of right. Now, I do know that the Touch Diamond, right? A lot of people complain about the battery life. Yes, uh, you had a 900 milliamp hour battery on this one. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, the general comment was that it wasn't uh, enough for surfing and, yeah. and Facebooking and all the things that you wanted to do when you had a device like this. Right. But of course, with this, it's different. You have a 1100 mAh. Well, that's AMH. much better. That's right, it's more or less enough. It's much of an upgrade. Yeah. And you get to watch the videos that you want to watch and do all the things that you want to do without so much limitation. It's gonna last so much longer, man. That's right. Compared yeah. to that. Okay, um, enough of that. Let's talk about uh, the RAM and the ROMs, right? You hardcore geeks out there. Yep. Basically, uh, the Touch Diamond 2 had a 192 RAM and a right. 256 uh, ROM. Yep, that's right. So, what about the Diamond 2 now? Okay, you get 288 RAM mm -hmm. and 512 meg of ROM. Whoa, yep. kudos on HTC for yeah, doing that. That's it's right. A big yeah. bump off your productivity levels on yep, this that's one. That's right. And I think HTC has gone some way to make sure that uh, the Touch Diamond 2 is com will be completely free of hangs and crashes caused by lack of RAM, which was something that if you've been using Windows Mobile from the early days, mm -hmm. you probably remember quite yeah. fondly. I think you were one of the early followers, weren't you? Yes, but I wasn't quite fond. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get on to that. All right. Now, let's talk about storage because, you know, I have a lot of movies, a lot of music, mm -hmm. a lot of pictures. That one had a 4 gig internal memory slot. That's right. Yep. Right? But it didn't have any expandable memory. You couldn't expand on nope, the slot, basically. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
How much uh, micro SD card slot these days? You know, micro SD cards. Okay, you can probably get a 16 gig card for about 70 bucks. Well, that is cheap. Yeah, that's right. Wow. And yeah. if you can't find it, you can always look for look. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, but so for the HTC Diamond, there's not there's no four gig onboard storage memory, but there's the micro SD card, yep. which can be found under the battery compartment, just right here. Yep. Okay. And you can probably carry a packet of cards around with you and put all your movies and other stuff on it. Download it legally, of course. Yes, because piracy is illegal. You heard it from us. Yeah. All right. Now, going now to, let's say, the last topic. That's right. The camera. Yes, okay. Uh, the old Diamond made, to, made do with a 3.2 megapixel shooter, but you yep. also get an upgrade on this baby. Let's see, it says autofocus 5 megapixels. Yes, that's right, and that puts it in line with the Touch HD. Oh, yeah. So it looks to be the way HTC is going on most of the new devices. Yep. yep. And for most of the snaps that you'll be doing out and about, this is probably the best uh, megapixel ratio mm. you could have. I kind of like this actually. Yeah. But anyway. This has been a special preview of the Windows Mobile 6.5 yep, right. and the HTC Touch Diamond 2. Right. right, so I'm Sat. And I'm Duke. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.